Hello and welcome back to my channel. For all of you who are preparing for an upcoming hike, I thought I'd show you what I keep in my ditty bag. So, let's begin. At the top here, I have a washer on a string that I keep for opening my bear canister. I also keep a collection of bread tabs, which I use like clothes hooks, clothesline pins when I am stringing up a line to try some clothes. At the end of the day, I have a cork ball for rolling out my joints and my feet. The next item in my bag is this ferrule rod. I always keep an extra fire starter on me at all times, just in case something happens. I have come to carrying one of these tiny little travel sewing kits, because you never know when your backpack, your pants, your shirt, or something else is going to rip. Or you can be the hero to somebody who forgot one. The next thing I keep in my ditty bag is some duct tape. There's no reason to carry a whole roll with you, so I take a small card and I wrap several rounds of duct tape on this. I've never used more than a couple of rounds to peel off, so this works perfectly without a whole lot of weight. The next thing I keep with me is a comb. You know, feeling fresh on trail isn't always easy, but Having a quick way to brush out your hair or pull out some stickers or thickers that you went wading through out of your hair can make your evening sleep much more enjoyable. Now, I don't always have a need for clips, but when I need to attach something to my backpack, I always find it's best to have a couple of lightweight, uh, easy carabiners. The benefit of this other one here is I can use it to hang my backpack off of the ground so that critters don't get into it. I know today we all use a cell phone, but I find that having a good old map and compass with you can always be a lifesaver, especially when you forgot that you left your phone on in play mode while you fell asleep and in the morning it's dead. Talking about phones, although I carry a lot of Bluetooth stuff to listen to, every once in a while it's great to have an extra pair of headphones just in case they die. Next thing, along with the sewing kit, I also bring a bunch of safety pins, because again, there's always that time where something rips and I need to put it together. I always carry a big mini lighter with me. You know, I have a Pazio igniter on all of my cooking gear, but having an extra little mini Bic with me is always helpful, especially when I want to have a little campfire. Having it pink makes most hikers not want to steal it. For all of you who hike often, I find that having an extra smart bottle water cap with you just for when you lose your sport cap or the cap to your bottle, handy, especially since sometimes and most often when I lose it, I'm way far away from anywhere I can get it replaced. Many of my electronics take AAA batteries, so I have a set that came with something that I bought recently that is a three pack, the most I'll use in any device. And so I threw it in my bag just in case. Next thing I carry with me is this little shark tool. It is a nine in one tool. It has everything from your Phillips screwdriver to a hex wrench and everything in between. It can be super handy when you're on trail trying to repair gear. I was a Boy Scout, so I always carry a handy pocket knife even if I have no intention of using it, especially one with a scissors, a blade, and a file. Next thing I carry is a chamois cloth. I have sunglasses and electronics. And let's get real. Your shirt's usually kind of getting a little gross to be wiping off your lenses in the uh, backcountry. I also have a thing with making sure that I have ways to get stuff out of my teeth. And keeping my ears clean is kind of a pet peeve. So one of my luxury items I always bring on trail with me is a pair of Q-tips and some teeth cleaning devices. Something I've become found is invaluable is this lightweight four-in-one plug so I can transfer power between the items that needed and the item I'm charging. Because you never have just one plug in item. I always bring an extra iPhone charger for my phone. I also find that having the longer cord allows me to throw a battery pack in my side pocket and still plug in my phone to use it if needed. While I'll be wearing a pair of sunglasses on trail, I have left way too many at camp spots and trailheads over the years, so I always bring a pair of these promotional glasses, which I paid nothing for. 
This is self-explanatory. It's a bandana. Anybody who's ever been hiking in Southern California in the summer knows that a bandana can be useful in many, many options, as well as being a great thing for some quick first aid. It also doubles up as how I protect my sunglasses in my jitty bag. The second to last item is a head bug nut. I find this to be one of the most valuable pieces of gear when I'm in the north woods or up in the alpine where the bugs can just become absolutely outrageous in the late summer. And last but not least, there is the ultralight bag that I carry this all in. I picked up this UL trail light sack, which is waterproof, made of Dyneema. I supported the local community and picked this guy up on Etsy. Well, now it's time to get packed up so I can hit the trail. Have a great one. And there it is, all packed up and ready for the trip. Until next time, happy trails. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that YouTube will tell you when I release my last video. Until then, see you around.